What's going on guys, it's Siobhan here back with a new video, welcome back to the channel and as you can see I hope you guys are excited from the title of the video, today we're doing a Q&A, so I've asked you guys on Instagram, Twitter, Telegram group, I asked everyone to ask me a few questions for the Q&A, I chose as much as I could and I wasn't trying to be repetitive and I chose the most appropriate questions, so yeah, without further ado, Let's hop into the Q&A and see what you guys had to ask me for this month. And also, November the 9th was my birthday, so thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday. And for everyone that's asking about my age, you can just Google it. It's on the interwebs, so let's check it out. But yeah, let's hop into the first question. Before this Q&A video starts, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video for making this video possible, and it's Kixi. They have super, super fire sneakers, new sneakers, off-white Air Jordan 1s, Travis Scott collabs, all of the new hot sneakers, all the Yeezys, all of them will be down below in the description. Click the link down below to check them out, guys. They're super, super cheap as well if you want to check them out. And it's really, really good. If you guys want to drip up this winter, if you want to save up for the summer, check the link down below. Kixi, the best sneaker deals on the entire internet. Thanks for the sponsorship. And yeah, let's hop into the Q&A. So the first question came in from Diderian and she said, do you plan on doing YouTube full time at any point? And honestly, full time YouTube would be the dream job for me. But right now I have to be grinding on different stuff like finish up with school, things for school and like my part time career, which is in advertising and marketing. So I want to hop into that field. And of course, in the long run, I'd love to do YouTube full time because that's my dream job. The next question came from Moya Captures from Instagram and she said, what's the difference between living in Jamaica and Canada? And honestly, the differences are, I would say, better government, more job opportunities. It's, it's a first world country, so it's easier to access like goods and services, different food, the weather is different. And overall, I just think in Canada, there's more, um, more opportunities to be successful than in Jamaica that's all I have to say but Jamaica is still an amazing country super fun probably more fun than Canada and I would, I would just like love to live in Jamaica if I had a lot of money that's all I have to say the next question came from modern G33k and he said what city tweak would you like to become a mainstream iPhone feature um, a city tweak that I'd love to become a mainstream iPhone feature would probably be picture in picture, especially with these big devices with the iPhone 11. Now, I'd love to see picture in picture on an iPhone 11. Next question from Instagram came from Rashawn, and he asked, What do you want to see Apple come out with with the 2020 iPhone? Uh, first thing first, I want to see a 120 hertz refresh rate. They also they missed the 90 hertz this year, so give us that 120 hertz refresh rate on the iPhone. Another thing I'd like to see is better video quality. I mean, it's superb right now, but I'd like to see a better video quality and a better design with the cameras. Smaller bezels, no notch. That's all I ask. Keep the battery life. It's amazing. If it's going to be better, that would be much appreciated. Next question came in from... George, if, I don't know what that name is, but he said, what position do you play in soccer or football? And for me, I play attacking midfield or sometimes I play striker or forward. So attacking midfield or striker. That's the position I play in soccer or football, depending on where you're from. Now hopping on to the Telegram questions. If you guys are not in my Telegram group, there's a link down below in order to join. Click that link, join the group and let's chat. But the first question came in from my guy, deleted account. His account is not deleted, his name is just deleted account, I don't know why, you'd have to ask him when he joined the group. But he said, what are the top 5 features you look in for a smartphone before buying? First thing first, the battery life has to be amazing, the camera has to be superb, the, the functionality with different, e like the ecosystem has to be 1, so that's 3. What else do I look for? The software, it has to be fast. And it has to have a good screen. So yeah, those are the top five features I look into for a smartphone. What's your favorite phone of 2019? My favorite phone of 2019 would be this. My this is like my most fun phone and the phone I always use is the LG G8X10Q, the dual screen version. And it's the most fun 
and like it's, the, it's basically the, my, my favorite phone of 2019 it's fun to use has amazing camera it has two screens so productivity is through the roof so yeah this is my favorite phone of 2019 lg dual screen next question from the telegram group came in from peyton green what's your favorite holiday between thanksgiving and christmas i'd say christmas because it's just super like cheerful season we give gifts receive gifts have fun eat food we're chilling it's a holiday we don't have to work so much it's snowing it's family time and yeah christmas is one of my favorite seasons and yeah i would rather christmas than thanksgiving next up comes from mike k do you think vibes cartel is the goat obviously vibes cartel is one of the best dancer artists if not the best dancer artist from jamaica so yeah he's definitely the greatest of all time oh whoa. what got you started with youtube who inspires you in the youtube space do you have more recording gear now than you had before do you edit your own videos and how did you horn them skills so first off what got me started with youtube is that my friend wanted me to show him something on his ipad and i recorded a video sent it to him he was like yo this is a crazy like this is like one of those youtube videos you should upload to youtube upload to youtube got ton of views like 2000 views with zero subscribers i was like oh shit i'm onto something like two months later i got an apple watch i started to make videos with the apple watch and then i started to get thousands of views 2000 views 5000 views had like 100 200 300 400 subscribers and i was like all right i'm onto something and that's how i started youtube um how did i get my video editing skills and do i edit my own videos yes i edit my own videos back in high school i used to um do a class called digital media they showed me how to edit videos but also i was using windows movie maker when i used to dance like way back i used to jerk you know when jerking was popular i used to be the person who edit those videos and i use windows movie maker so that provided the ground rules and the basics for me and then i went on youtube figured out how to use adobe premiere pro at first it looked very intimidating but then i got used to it and yeah that's how i got all my video editing skills i think i'm missing a question who inspires you in the youtube space who inspires me in the youtube space is basically people that look up to like mkbhd your average consumer this girl called shelby church casey nice that you know the people that has somewhat of the same vision that i have and i would like to reach their level or even a higher level in the future so yeah good questions man solid questions let's see what we have next though sean again from twitter this time what's your biggest accomplishment this year in terms of youtube content in terms of youtube content my biggest accomplishment is probably hitting 40,000 subscribers and also being invited out to some crazy events like the lg event intel invited me out to an event getting connections with asus google so many companies that um get into contact with me that's probably my biggest accomplishment this year with youtube and it's not over yet suppose we have more things who knows can you do a top 10 editing apps on ipad or iphone for thumbnails i got you coming soon what are the specs on your pc tower also love your videos so if you can see if you guys didn't see the beast on the back we got intel i5 i5 16 gigs of ram rtx 2070 some fans this case is from deep cool we have some deep cool fans 500 watt power supply uh, yeah that's basically it i don't know what else to say but it's a beast i love it to death and yeah my first pc and it looks amazing i have a few upgrades i want to do to it and then i'll do my setup video like my room tour and everything for you guys uh, keep the lookout for that video the next question room tour i just i just spoke on the room tour what i'm waiting for in my room tour is better cable management a new tv and another monitor and then the room tour videos will be ready so post notifications make sure they're turned on so you don't miss that video somebody said what's 9 plus 10 9 plus 10 is that 19 honestly don't know is what are your must-have apps on the iphone 11 pro my must-have apps is messaging apps video edit video and photo editing apps and social media apps that's probably the must-have apps for me and probably like banking apps like finance apps that's all the apps that i have to have on my iphone where are you from I am from Jamaica. 
What is the best color for the iPhone other than the gold? I would say space gray is the other best color or midnight green. White is not in my like sight. Just don't get white, but space gray or matte black. I don't know what it's called. I think it's matte black or midnight green. Yeah, those are some really nice colors. From your perspective, the top five most iconic phones ever. I'd have to say the lipstick from Samsung or LG, one of them. The Razer phones, those are sick, like the Motorola Razer, the Motorola Sil Silver or Sliver, one of those stuff. The old Nokias in Jamaica, they call it the Truck Coach. The Bold 5, I love the Bold 5, Blackberry Bold 5. The, I the iPhone 3GS was super cool. The iPhone 4, I love the iPhone 4. And yeah, those are probably the most iconic phones ever in my opinion. What's your favorite app on your phone and why? How much do you make from YouTube? My favorite app on my phone would probably be Reddit or Twitter, one of those, because it's just very entertaining. It keeps me up with everything what's going on. Um, how much do I make from YouTube? I don't think I could say that, but just know I make enough to, to live in this place and pay all my bills. So thanks to you guys, you made that possible. How likely are you to collab with upcoming youtubers with quality content also are you excited for the new jailbreak don't cap so i'm always down to collab with upcoming youtubers like simply pops he's a very good youtuber i would love to collab with him one day let him know if you're watching this hit me up bro um of course i'm excited for the new jailbreak like i'm waiting for support from my device i'd probably have to get an older device to start making more jailbreak content super excited the only thing is that i'm not sure if i want to continue making jailbreak videos on this channel i might make a separate channel for jailbreaking videos because i want to keep this channel professional so companies like apple would invite me out to events sooner or later and i don't think they would look at my channel if i'm making jailbreak videos if you get what i'm saying so if you guys want me to make a jailbreak channel i will because i love jailbreaking that wraps up the q a guys hope you guys enjoyed if you had more questions drop them down below and i'll answer them while this video is up so yeah if you guys enjoyed drop a like if you're new subscribe and as always love peace and tweaks signing out